Good afternoon, this is the latest video update on Typhoon Jalawat on this Monday afternoon. Let's continue to watch the system uh, continue to move north northwestward east of the Philippines. Ma last look at it, approximately 430 kilometers east northeast of the uh, city of Virac in Catanduanes Island. Maximum sustained winds have further increased to 185 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 260 kilometers per hour. Again, the system is moving north northwestward. It also accelerated and is now moving at the speed of 15 km per hour if you remember yesterday system rapidly intensified in the past uh, 24 to 36 hours it's now a very strong typhoon this winds are from the JMA JDWC uh, slightly higher winds and uh, has it at a category 4 intensity Jalawat has actually briefly uh, attained super typhoon status early this morning uh, with winds of as high as 250 km per hour this is one minute sustained uh, the system has leveled off in the past six, uh, six hours and has actually weakened according to Joint Typhoon Warning Center uh, this is as a result of the oil replacement cycle that we have men mentioned yesterday it continues to occur and actually is almost nearing completion based on the latest data that we have now looking at the wider view here of um, Jalawat's 2 km resolution visible image and showing the uh, typhoon here in the very small eye pinhole eye continuing to contract as again the hour replacement cycle continues to uh, occur here uh, again dual outflow channel continue to remain vigorous uh, outer rain bands also continue to affect parts of eastern Visayas and even uh, stretching into the uh, southern Luzon areas in the Bicol region uh, rainfall amounts here in this region have generally been around 20 to around uh, 30 to even 50 millimeters so not as bad as we thought uh, although rains will continue in this region for the next uh, the next tw two days actually and if you look actually to the southwest here in the southwestern Philippines particularly here in Mindanao and here in Palau and you see that cloudiness uh, it's been going on here uh, the southwest monsoon also to southwesterly flow into the circulation of the storm enhancing rain showers uh, particularly here in uh, Sambuanga and uh, Palawan areas in fact some areas, he areas here have reported nearly uh, 100 millimeters of rain in the past uh, 24 hours so while we are not seeing heavy rains here in eastern Visayas we are seeing them here in uh, the uh, parts of Palawan and Mindanao I also want to direct your eyes here to the northeast of Jalawat and this is Tropical Depression 19W we'll continue, we'll talk about it later in the update but and you can see that the monsoon trough actually is somewhat linked with uh, this two systems somewhat linked uh, but not directly influencing uh, each other no Fujiwara effect as of yet mm, we're not really expecting that to happen showing you the proximity of the system to each other uh, now I'm I talked about the owl replacement cycle and uh, unfortunately the latest microwave images that we have didn't fully, wasn't able to fully capture the um, uh, center of Jalawat and the latest, the best image that we have is unfortunately 4 hours old this is a little bit dated and taken by the AMSU satellite so a little bit ro uh, low resolution so it gives an idea on the progress of the owl replacement cycle and as I've said almost uh, almost nearing its completion actually has begun yesterday uh, evening and um, you can see that uh, outer eye wall beginning to take over the very small very pinhole inner eye wall uh, almost gone here almost uh, eroding and uh, looking back at the visible image you can see that eye wall continuing to contract continuing to erode and perhaps um, uh, be gone altogether in the next 12-24 hours and in fact the latest infrared image giving us any idea of that uh, outer eye wall seems to be taking over now and as you can see the very tiny dot over there continuing to get, continues to get smaller and this bigger much larger uh, clearing here much larger area of uh, lighter convection is what we think is the, uh, is the new eye wall trying to uh, take charge here, but again, you can see in the latest microwave image those uh, convective activities still bring rains across the eastern Visayas and even in extending into the um, Mindanao and Palawan areas, courtesy of the southwest. With the latest radar image from Pagasus Project, now again showing you still some uh, widespread 
uh, light to moderate and even heavier rains um, moving in from the south from the northwest to the southeast affecting still parts of um, Negros, uh, Cebu and even northern Mindanao Bohol Island uh, also reporting light rains here and also here across eastern Visayas um, across the islands of Samar and Leyte uh, we don't have radar coverage here unfortunately Virac radar is not online yet but um, area series stations here are reporting uh, rainfall amounts of uh, 30 to 50 millimeters in the past 12 to 24 hours so still some rains here and uh, we'll continue to move northeastward and then northwestward and perhaps move into parts of southern Luzon and even central Luzon in the next two to three days as um, Jalawat continues to move to the north and speaking of that future movement of this typhoon and looking at the latest uh, steering layers in the atmosphere again continue to see the system continue to move northward into that weakness uh, being bought by the trough that is now continuing to move across Japan uh, subtropical ridge continuing to weaken it there as well another ridge is set up actually in eastern China and this is the system this is the system that we've been uh, watching uh, still don't know how strong this will get and how strong it will actually influence Jalawat by uh, Wednesday or Thursday but for now we do think the system will continue to move north and then perhaps by uh, again by Tuesday or by Wednesday uh, as it approaches the uh, northeastern uh, Luzon northeastern part uh, it might turn more to the northwest perhaps threaten Taiwan but again looking at the latest uh, computer models some of them take this to the northwest perhaps towards Taiwan and then recurve them actually recurve Genoa back to the northeast perhaps threatening Okinawa so there is still some uncertainties uh, among the computer models unfortunately um, the consensus hasn't gotten any better in terms of the model spread but uh, majority of the models do agree on a northwestward turn in the next two to three days here uh, so all eyes should still be uh, on this typhoon even here in northern Luzon Taiwan and the Japanese islands and if you look at the latest forecasts from the official weather agencies let's start with gas here and uh, turning northward and then uh, perhaps a turn more to the northwest uh, by Thursday morning uh, only goes out to three days but gives you an idea not really forecasting a landfall here in the Philippines it could move near uh, the northeastern tip of Japan that could bring some effects in that region now the Japan Meteorological Agency also showing that northwestward turn perhaps moving very near Taiwan but mainly uh, going east of the countries of the island and not really making landfall perhaps threatening the islands here in the uh, southern Japan, the Ryukyus Islands, particularly here in Ishikagajima area. They are also uh, actually forecasting the system to continue intensifying, perhaps become a violent typhoon according to their classification, perhaps with winds of uh, as high as 205-210 km per hour in the next two to three days as well. Finally, we have the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and uh, actually seeing good agreement uh, among the two agencies that we usually uh, look at, the GAMA and the JTWC, and uh, almost agree on that northwest return and uh, recurve uh, by Thursday and Friday, mainly avoiding um, avoiding uh, making landfall here in Taiwan. So good news for uh, for the folks down here as of this moment. But again, you can see that forecast cone of uncertainty still very wide and still pretty much encompasses the whole region from northern Luzon to Taiwan and even eastern China again uh, southern Japanese islands so what this basically says that anywhere uh, living in this under inside this cone should continue to uh, watch this system and as for the intensity forecast Joint Typhoon Warning Center is actually forecasting this to level off maintain this category for intensity not expecting this to intensify any longer actually forecasting this to week into a category 3 by Thursday and Friday now they're probably expecting the hour replacement cycle to um, knock down the system uh, I'm going with the joint uh, Japan meteorological agency with this one personally and uh, I mean the atmospheric conditions are still somewhat favorable for uh, for any development but 
for the short term you do have to continue to, s to watch and the the progress of that I will replacement cycle and see if does any uh, does induce any uh, weakening in the next uh, few days and finally we took uh, we'll take a look at the uh, other tropical depression here, tropical cyclone here in the Western Pacific, of tropical depression 90W now both being uh, classified as depression by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and the Japan Meteorological Agency. System continues to move northward, well west of the Marianas Islands, last week approximately 520 kilometers uh, southwest of the island of uh, Iwoto here in Japan, or about 1,000 kilometers uh, northwest of the island of Guam. Uh, not really located, not really included in this image anymore. Maximum sustained winds remain at 55 kilometers per hour, gusts up to 85 kilometers per hour. System is moving northward at 20 kilometers per hour. Look at the latest visible image. Uh, system is actually fully exposed, or at least partly exposed, low-level circulation center. Much, much, much of the convection is displaced to the east and southeast of the cir uh, circulation because of the wind shear, very strong westerly wind shear here, 30 to even 40 knots being reported in the last analysis. I remember yesterday we were expecting the wind shear to uh, weaken, has uh, has strengthened, and again looking at the infrared image, much of the convection is displaced to the uh, west, to, I'm sorry, to the east of the system, and actually if you look at this s line here, uh, again, uh, Giving the uh, giving us an idea of how strong the winds you hear pushing all those convection and uh, not allowing any any sort of convective activity to form uh, west of the circulation center and again you can see the uh, circulation center is located somewhere over here so very little convective activity if anything uh, we do expect the wind shear to slightly weaken and abate in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours uh, in fact computer models are uh, still forecasting uh, intensification. Uh, in the next three days, uh, even though the uh, sea surface temperature is a little bit cooler once you get ahead of the 25 degree latitude. Now looking at the forecast here, the JMA is still 24 hour forecast from them though because of it still being a tropical depression, but again still forecasting a mainly northward turn, perhaps uh, moving uh, 200 to 300 kilometers uh, west of the islands here in Iwoto and the other uh, Japanese islands here. Uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center uh, forecasting also that northwest or northward turn and perhaps turning to the nor northeast passing northwest of the island of Iwoto uh, by Tuesday tomorrow or by uh, Wednesday morning. Also expecting this to become a tropical storm perhaps peaking at around 45 knots or around 85 kilometers per hour. Not expecting this to become a typhoon Although some computer models have actually shown uh, strong intensification, particularly the GFS model and the Euro European model actually forecasting this to become some uh, s a very weak typhoon at a time uh, it makes uh, moves to the north uh, on Thursday. Now looking at the forecast track here from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, they are forecasting this system to move well away from Honshu, um, well, uh, southeast of Tokyo. Uh, by Friday, but again could move uh, very near enough to bring some high waves uh, across the southern and west, uh, southern and eastern coast of Honshu, and could also uh, bring some uh, some rain showers here as it starts to interact with the jet stream by this time. Also, the you can also see that the uh, eastern parts of Honshu are still under the forecast cone, so I wouldn't say I wouldn't cut out this system just yet. Continue to watch this. Uh, as we move into the next uh, few days. And that ends our video update for the day. Continue to check out Pagas for the latest forecasts and warnings. Also, actually, Project NOAA, uh, Google that. Uh, so they have the latest uh, radar images, especially in Visayas and the Metro Manila area. Also, check out Japan Meteorological Agency for the latest on the two cyclones you are watching. Also, Central Weather Bureau, if you uh, reside in uh, Taiwan. Stay safe guys. Bye.